Starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. Tonight, law enforcement across the region continue their search for a man named Christopher Terrell Anderson. He is the man charged with killing Hannah Miller back on June 30th. For the last two months, Miller's friends and family have been left worrying and wondering when will Anderson be caught? The sheriff says their case is strong, but they don't believe Anderson is in the area, and that limits what they can do. Newswatch 12's Cooper Henkel has more on their latest strategy in this case. Nearly two months after Hannah Miller was killed, the United County Sheriff's Department is taking another step forward in their investigation. They hope the reward money they're posting and that the community will raise will bring Anderson into custody. We don't believe that Mr. Anderson is in our community. We don't believe that he's here. Anderson is believed to have fled the area after shooting and killing Hannah Miller in the town of Pelican. Captain Terry Hook says their case against Anderson is airtight. Now they just need him back in Rhinelander. We have a warrant for his arrest. We want to get him into custody. And so we believe that this could be one of the things that helps us do that quicker. The Sheriff's Department added $20,000 to the reward pool with another $5,000 put forward by the Rhinelander Police Department. Hook says they're hoping the community will make up the difference to make a difference in the case. We're asking the community to donate to the fund in hopes of getting it up to about $100,000. We just ask that the community help us to make this case move a little faster by participating in um, adding to our rewards so that we can hopefully uh, make somebody want to turn in Mr. Anderson. Captain Hook tells me the United County Sheriff's Department is working with other law enforcement agencies, both here in Wisconsin and outside the state. She's not able to tell me where they think Anderson may be, but they are hoping this pool of money will help ferret him out. For Newswatch 12, I'm Cooper Henkel. Outside, Jeff, wet day today. Yeah, the gardens are happy after a soaking rainfall earlier, but now the sun is coming out. That will give these temperatures a boost before it sets them around 8 o'clock or so. Currently, it's 74 in Rhinelander, uh, also for a tomahawk. We'll have lows tonight down near 60 or so, but there could be a few more thunder showers back in the area tonight. So speaking of thunder showers, so here's the radar now. Very active earlier, but now we're getting a break in the action. That is all shifted across parts of southern Wisconsin right now. Severe weather in southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. That will stay there currently, but for us, we're watching this area up here. That could give us some more rain tonight. Once that comes through, we're done throughout the day tomorrow. We are in pretty good shape throughout the day tomorrow before we get another system in here on Thursday and Friday with some more local heavy rainfall. Our forecast then for tonight though is mostly cloudy skies, warm and humid outside with low temperatures down near 65. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. The number of new COVID-19 cases reported today in Wisconsin topped 2,000 for the first time since January. Today, DHS reports 2,170 new cases. We're now averaging 1,369 per day over the last week. Net numbers have not risen as much, but they are rising, especially recently. Today, DHS reports 21 new deaths, including one in Oneida County. We're now averaging about eight per day statewide over the last week. Meanwhile, DHS reports 54% of all people in the state have now received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine, including almost 65% of adults. Oneida, Vilas, and Iron County are all vaccinating at higher rates, slightly than the state average. Most of north central Wisconsin vaccinating at rates a little below the state average. Yesterday, the FDA gave full approval rather than just emergency authorization to the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for folks age 60 and up, saying in a release, quote, the public can be very confident that this vaccine meets the high standards for safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing quality the FDA requires of an approved product, end quote. State health officials believe this announcement could convince at least some people who were on the fence to get vaccinated. UW Health Chief Quality Officer Jeff Pothoff says the vaccine is now on the same level of approval as other more common vaccines, MMR and polio, that people would typically need for school or work. On through the same rigorous process as any other medication or vaccination that we use in the United States, uh, and that should feel good. Right now, some businesses already require proof of vaccination from their workers. With the new FDA stamp of approval, Pothoff says more businesses might feel confident doing that in coming weeks. 
or for things like attending a concert or some other big event, we could start seeing an increase in establishments requiring vaccinations to attend. To mandate a vaccine that was under emergency use authorization was a relatively new thing. There wasn't a lot of precedent for that. Uh, but you know, there's tremendous precedent for mandating a vaccine that is fully FDA approved. Pothov admits while some people might feel a bit more confident now to get the vaccine, he does not expect a mad rush as many people are committed to their beliefs. As COVID-19 case numbers continue to rise, not just here, but across the country, many health experts agree there's no way to know how long this surge will last. Many experts say a rise in vaccinations should help, but that may not come quickly enough. Mandy Gaither has some tips on how we can learn to live with the virus. The virus that causes COVID-19 isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But with the recent full FDA approval of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, vaccinations are on the rise. If we can get through this winter and get really the majority, overwhelming majority of the 90 million people who have not been vaccinated, vaccinated, I hope we could start to get some good control in the spring of 2022. Some U.S. health experts believe the virus will end up being seasonal, like a cold or flu, and we must learn to coexist with the coronavirus. It changes, just like the weather does. There may be times you need to pull out an umbrella. There's times that you don't go inside certain places. The first thing experts say we need to do, get as many people as possible vaccinated and mask up. They say the Delta variant has been shown to exist in the nose and upper throat of those infected, vaccinated or not, in all almost equal amounts. As school mask debates continue, some parts of the country are already struggling with quarantines and temporary closures as infections spread. In classrooms, experts say masks and good ventilation are important to keep schools safe. More rapid testing is needed, especially antigen tests. They say those results can be helpful for those who don't have symptoms but want to make sure they're not a silent spreader. And given that the Delta variant spreads more easily, experts say reassess and adjust risk of exposure. It's Mandy Gay, the reporting. The pandemic put a twist on a lot of college students' plans. Many universities transitioned to online learning last year, and in turn, a lot of students changed plans and decided to stay home and do their work online. Nicolay College in Rhinelander had almost all of their courses completely online last year, with the exception of some science labs, some more hands-on focused classes. One student who just completed her first year of college online last year says she would rather classes be in person. I prefer in-person classes because I have a hard time motivating myself and I learn a lot better when someone explains things to me rather than doing it through a screen. I think this year will be better than last year, but I don't think it's going to feel normal yet. So she plans to complete her associate's degree at Nicolet and then use the college's university transfer program to head someplace else. Nicolet College President Kate Farrell says about 80% of this fall's classes will still be virtual, aimed at better serving students with busy schedules. Fans of the Rolling Stones are mourning the loss of their iconic drummer. Charlie Watts, spokesperson, confirmed his death today, saying the 80-year-old passed away peacefully in a London hospital. Watts played for the Stones for more than 50 years, along with bandmates Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Ronnie Wood. When you see images of those wildfires out west, they may seem very far away, but as we've seen this summer, those wildfires can even affect our air quality here in the North Woods. We'll have more on that in just a few minutes. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast next on Newswatch 12 at 5. When you are out for family fun, think of CT's Expanded Deli in downtown Rhinelander. Call ahead to pick up cold or hot sandwich trays or enjoy lunch in the dog-friendly patio. Wednesday burger nights and Thursday pizza all summer long. Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The all-new Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Pay no interest for 72 months, plus current eligible Buick owners. Get 500 purchase allowance on 2021 Buick SUV models. Visit your North Central Wisconsin Buick dealer. Welcome to Land O'Lakes, Serenity at the top of Wisconsin. 
Stay with us at the Gateway Lodge in Land Lakes. Relax in our indoor pool, delicious dinners, and the coziest lounge in town. Come back to tradition at the historical Gateway Lodge. Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find new summer adventures. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on select popular Chevy SUVs. Plus, get interest-free financing for 72 months when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Artist Christine Alfari believes that art should be as unique as the individual who creates it and collects it. Make an appointment to visit Christine's studio or visit online, nestled in your favorite chair, and find the perfect work of art to reflect your life and spirit. When you are out for family fun, think of CT's Expanded Deli in downtown Rhinelander. Call ahead to pick up cold or hot sandwich trays or enjoy lunch in the dog-friendly patio. Wednesday burger nights and Thursday pizza all summer long. some sunshine finally getting through outside right now. There are mostly cloudy skies pretty much all day today and some heavy rain showers earlier. More on that here in a second, but at least we'll give temperatures a boost. Currently we're in the 70s, but where there is some sunshine, already 79 in Hayward, 76 for Lace Minutes, you get the idea. Sunshine here, clouds over here uh, has kept temperatures down just a bit, but there's still some time left. Uh, the sun sets around 8 o'clock tonight. We will get a boost in temperatures now for the next hour or two around here and the average high is 76 the average low being 51 the record low 34 back in 1934 and the sun sets tonight at 750 this evening all right so here we go there is lots of heat you can see exactly where the rain cooled air is right right across wisconsin uh but up against parts of iowa and look at it's 91 in chicago right now 92 peoria 95 st louis 101 in oakley so yeah there's just lots of heat and heat in the atmosphere is instability. It's all around us right now and we still have the chance for a few thunder showers tonight. We'll get a break in the action tomorrow followed by some more weather getting in here on Thursday and Friday and the temperatures are pretty much going to be all over the place right. So 80s back in the forecast tomorrow followed by a cold front comes through 74 for Thursday 70 on Friday meaning much of Friday spent in the 60s. Are you ready for that at the football games on Friday night and then right back up at 80 on Saturday and Sunday so you give us going on up and down up and down as we erode the temperatures heading into late parts of August. All right radar picture shows it was very active earlier but now it's kind of settling down as the really bad stuff has settled across parts of southern Wisconsin into parts of Illinois uh, but it, 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 it kind of got across the area today and left its mark right across parts of central Wisconsin. All that bad weather right now right there you see it right on the border of Wisconsin and Illinois that will stay there and move east tonight for us, though, we're watching upstream here in a second, but earlier today you saw what happened, right? We had lots of wind reports, some hail reports, even some wind damage reports out of this one as it came through parts of Marathon County, Lincoln County, back to Wood County, too. We had a wind gust of 56 miles per hour in Marshfield earlier with the morning thunder showers. That's unusual, right? Uh, but now we're kind of clearing outside now. And these are really good rainmakers, too. This is a radar depiction of where the rain fell today. And anywhere where you see the darker green or the yellow that's an inch plus of rainfall that's most of you in Portage County Southern Marathon County Wood County Clark County as well saw a healthy rainfall earlier today so here is the big picture and you see what's going on right the high pressure we spoke of yesterday is right there still pumping all this moisture into the Midwest it pools right ahead of the cold front right behind the warm front well guess where we are uh, that's just to the west of us right now so still lots of moisture in the atmosphere lots of potential energy to get through and we're watching upstream currently for some uh, development that could give us some uh, weather later on tonight but the bigger problem right now is that manifesting as fog we had some very dense fog earlier today uh, all that moisture in the atmosphere kind of hits the dew point in the morning hours gives us dense fog that will likely be back again tonight and then going forward so precipitation wise was uh, again tonight probably a few showers right but we're still got a bullseye right over north central Wisconsin if I 
run this through Tuesday. So a week from today, we still have several more rounds of potentially heavy rain to get through. Not tomorrow, but more so Thursday evening and a Friday morning uh, could be another severe weather event around here. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is scattered showers and a couple of thundershowers out there. Likely non-severe, but heavy rainmaker uh, if they do develop. Look for low temperatures down near 65. For tomorrow, it's Wednesday. Morning clouds followed by afternoon sunshine tomorrow. That'll feel good with high temperatures near 81. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by an furniture and mattress shows a break in the action tomorrow, followed by more weather getting in here, especially late Thursday and Friday. we got to watch that in more showers, general showers over the weekend. Justin. Thanks, Jeff. You've probably noticed the smoke in the air recently, leading some beautiful sunsets, but also poor breathing conditions for folks who are sensitive. News Watch 12's Lily Zoller spoke to state DNR leaders and meteorologists today about what's behind that smoke and what it means for you. Lily. Justin, we know that those wildfires out west and in Canada are to blame, but the meteorologists don't predict the conditions will improve much. Basically what those fires are doing, especially near the Arrowhead in Minnesota, is drastically reducing the air quality, um, not only where the fire is, but in areas surrounding the fire that go all the way into northern Wisconsin. Particles from the fire pollute the air and make it unhealthy for people to breathe. And you don't have to be in poor health to notice the impact it has. Right now in parts of northern and northwestern Wisconsin, it's at a level that's red, which is also unhealthy for all groups in the public. State DNR officials and meteorologists blame dry conditions and record-breaking temperatures out west and all the way to the Dakotas for causing the fires. But how much we feel it changes from day to day. Weather plays a key role in how the air pollution spreads uh, across an area. So if it's a really warm day, you might get that mixing and it could make the, uh, the air pollution a little bit worse. But if it's rainy, you know, it might help tamper it down a little bit. Well, we can't control the weather. There are things you can do to protect yourself from poor air quality, which is especially important for sensitive groups like children, the elderly, and those with heart, lung, or respiratory conditions. We would ask people in those groups is to reduce uh, any prolonged or heavy exertion outside. Um, it is okay to be outside, but just take more breaks and do less um, extensive or intensive uh, activities. The potential rain this week could help, but the weather forecasts out west suggest that the fires aren't going away anytime soon. So it's important to keep up those best practices and pay attention for what days it might be at its worst. In the meantime, you can find more information on air quality in your area at airnow.gov. Justin? Thank you, Lily. Governor Evers has announced two new competitive grant programs aimed at helping communities across the state rebound and recover from the pandemic. They'll provide $250 million of American Rescue Plan Act funding to help communities build long-term sustainable economic success, including $200 million for the Neighborhood Investment Fund Program. It's for local and tribal governments to help their communities with innovative public services or new and improved facilities, as well as $50 million for the Health Care Infrastructure Capital Investment Grant that's designed for local, tribal, and nonprofit health care organizations to help them out. We'll be right back. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for spinal aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Are you worried about going away to college this fall? What if you could get the same college experience closer to home? From the moment you step onto our campus to begin your bachelor's degree, we'll be there for you, supporting your dreams and saving you money. 
With NTC's new liberal arts transfer degree, you can start here and go anywhere, including a guaranteed transfer to UW-Madison. North Central Technical College, we're ready when you are. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speedboats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine and Motorsports Shano. This week you can hop on your motorcycle, ATV, or UTV and help ride for the homeless. The event is this Saturday, starting at Fisher's Bar, benefits Nath Frederick Place. Registration check-in starts at 9. The cost is $20 for a driver, 10 per passenger. The ride ends at Woodpecker Bar, where there'll be a chicken picnic meal starting at 5. There's also a 50-50 raffle and basket raffles. For more information, you can contact Nath Frederick Place or check out their website. The Hodag Mini Triathlon is an annual fundraiser put on by a nonprofit group known as WILD. The organization was created by Headwaters Christian Youth, while it stands for Wise Intentional Leadership Development. The group works with folks of all ages in the U.S. and internationally. Wild's executive director says people enjoy participating in something unique. When people are done, they go, yeah, this was worth it. This was very enjoyable. It's something for some that they've never tried before. Others who have done it before, they, it just keeps them in shape. And again, it's a mini try. So it's not like you have to be a, the Ironman competition, but rather, hey, I can try this. Well, it's a triathlon, so it has three parts. Participants can either swim or kayak and then bike and run a 5K. This year's event is at Holiday Acres Resort in Winelander. All proceeds go towards what organizers say is a good cause. The impact is changing lives. Because if you have good leadership, whether it be family all the way up to government, it changes lives. And it, it allows you to positively influence people and help develop people throughout the world. If you're interested, there is still time to register. In fact, you can do that on-site day of. The triathlon is scheduled for this Saturday starting at 8 a.m. Find details on the website hodagtriathlon.com. We'll be right back. Make your summer last during the Ford Labor Day sales event. Now is still a great time to buy a Ford. Choose from our F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 44 years, and from the freshest lineup of SUVs in America. It's the Ford Labor Day sales event. Drive one, buy one today. Right now, get a built Ford Tough F-150 XLT with 0% financing for 72 months. Hurry to see your local dealer during the Ford Labor Day sales event. The new LDF Country Market in Lac de Flambeau offers families the freshest meats, produce, bakery, and groceries. Take a closer look and you'll find a smoke shop, beer cave, deli, and liquor all under one roof with convenient fueling stations just outside. Add Native American arts and crafts and you'll enjoy a unique, spacious shopping experience found nowhere else. Shop the new LDF Country Market today. Get what you need so you can get back to what you enjoy. Conveniently located near downtown Rhinelander, the Pines Event Center is a modern venue for all types of events. From weddings, family reunions, and fundraising galas to baby showers and corporate events, we have a variety of spaces to meet your needs. With an 11-acre property to enjoy outdoor events and room for 230 guests indoor, multi-use suites, plus ample parking, we're equipped to put your mind at ease. The Pines Event Center is a welcoming space to gather and celebrate. Plan your next event with us. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speedboats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine and Motorsports Shano. 
Newswatch 12's Justin Betty and meteorologist Jeff Weller bring you the news and weather of the North Woods. Alongside the Newswatch 12 team, they are committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. The Newswatch 12 team works hard to deliver the most important stories from around the globe, local and national sports updates, and weather reports. Watch Justin and Jeff weeknights at 5, 6, and 10 on WJFW NBC 12. We have a story out of Italy more than seven decades in the making. During World War II, a U.S. veteran named Martin Adler almost shot three Italian kids after mistaking them for German soldiers. But he didn't. He almost did. Okay. Monday, 77 years later, the group was reunited at Bologna Airport oh. in northern Italy. Uh, his daughter had shared the story of this wartime encounter last year and raised money for this meetup. So there's a happy ending to yes, the story. I wasn't terrible. sure where you were was going there for a second. It, that was a little okay. dark for a minute. But uh, all right, for us, weather-wise, a little dark this oh, morning, a right? Dark for a minute. <laughs> Lots of fog this morning, followed by a round of showers and yeah. storms. That's now gone, yeah. but uh, there could be more of those on the horizon tonight and on Thursday. Here's the radar, and again, there's sunshine peeking through for Vilas County, Price County, Iron National Counties as well. The rest of us, though, are under cloud cover, and uh, the heavier stuff, though, is across far southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. Again, that's all severe, and that's part of what came through earlier today for us. For us, though, we're looking up this direction by International Falls. That could produce a line of storms tonight. That could make it in here. It's going to be a stretch, though, I think. Uh, temperatures, though, are getting a boost out there with the sunshine right now. We could go for 80 still. Uh, a couple hours to go. And look at the seven days. So 81 tomorrow, followed by a good chance now for some thunder showers late Thursday and Friday. Any of those could give us some locally heavy rainfall just like this morning. A lot to keep your eye on yes. over the next several days. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll see you at 6 with more.